The rebels call themselves the Salika Coalition. They're an alliance of fighters from the north who were once part of armed groups as seen here. They had signed a peace accord in April 2007, agreeing to lay down their arms and join the National Army in exchange for financial support. Five years later, and the rebels say the CAR government has not honoured the deal. They want the president deposed unless he negotiates, and the fighters have been marching towards the capital to press their demands. They've advanced rapidly since launching the current offensive on December the 10th. The fighters have captured four regional capitals, including Ndele in the north, Bambari in the nation's centre, the mining hub of Bria, and just on Tuesday, the western town of Kagabandoro. They're now reportedly close to the capital city, Bangui. Fearing an all-out fight, many civilians have left their homes. They flee to their fields, which means they basically go uh, next to their crops uh, and, and just stay there without any shelter and with the minimal drinking water that they can find in the area and with a bit of food. Uh, it's dire conditions. The Central African Republic already has some of the worst health indicators in the world. Every individual is infected with malaria at least once a year. Acute malnutrition is widespread, while access to medical services is scarce. Now, eight groups expressing concern that should the unrest worsen in the coming days, it is these people who will pay the price. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.